incentivization of freedom and its future, which has been co-authored by Ahmed Wasim Ghori. So what is freedom? Is it democracy? Is it free market capitalism? Or is it just emancipating yourself? Uh, we democratically elect populist leaders to lead us. Uh, is this the case of freedom? We come up with new ideas and implement them in this capitalist uh, society. Is that also a case of freedom? And in most cases, in most societies, we are able to be whatever we want to be. Is that also a case for freedom? Or is this just an illusion which has been uh, fed to us uh, since all of our lives as soon as we are born? Or is this just a way to enslave us further? Uh, there, there are two very integral people who um, look beyond the chains of evolution. One is Sigmund Freud, who is the father of psychoanalysis. And then there's Karl Marx, who is the father of socialism and uh, Eric Fromm, who uh, brought their theories together. Freud believes in uh, the main problem that we are facing is, is because of the repressed sexual aggression that we, that is, that is a result of the primitive self uh, and the civilized self combining together, which leads to discontentment. The self has been uh, presented in the format that you can see the barbaric self, the philosophical self, the social self, the civilized self, the selfish self. These are, of course, our theories. Uh, Marx believes that because of free market capitalism, man is reduced to becoming a commodity and he loses touch with nature. And because of that, he loses touch with himself and becomes an alien to himself and the people around him and nature itself. So society, the foundations of collectivism, the evolution of collectivism, sane society, insane society, society of many selves. We're going to talk about that, all of these in our paper. Um, when we combine the theories of Freud and Marx, we end up with Fromm's theory, which is robotism, which is applicable in the 21st century. It's um, we, have been, we are being ruled by machines and we are enslaved by machines. This is what Fromm predicted and this is what is happening these days. Society of Many Cells is um, derived from a lot of things. Uh, we, we have broken this down to the, from a society's point of view to the point of view of the self, uh, as you can very well see. And then there were these major revolutions that happened. The Industrial Revolution, of course, we know about this. And then the Urban Revolution, which has been presented by Henry Lefebvre. Um, and then there's this special revolution that we are presenting ourselves. The Industrial, uh, the industrial Revolution led to, uh, it leads to the Urban Revolution, which is that as soon as you can find the tools and the techniques to uh, urbanize, you start urbanizing entire fields and once this urbanization is complete you are no longer you you know you no longer have the space to move about and that is why you create an abstract space which is a, sp a space that uh, is within your mind or within your computer screen or just like cyberspace so what is an urban sprawl uh, why how did it come into being it's because of finance-led capitalism, employment and construction industry, overpopulation, and the need for job creation. What are the resolutions? The first resolution is that uh, multiple ownership of land must be restricted. Urban forests must be created within center hubs of um, urban uh, fabric. Um, then there's this technique called permaculture that must be implemented at all scales. Um, Billionaires must be taxed because they have most of the junk of the economy and architecture students and schools must focus on sustainable design. There's also equal representation on platforms. Um, mass migrations must be reduced and commercial centers must be created everywhere. Uh, technocrats must be given authority to implement rules and regulations as opposed to other uh, bureaucrats uh, need this expansion we don't need to have multiple apartment buildings that have been vacated over time we just need to uh, we just need to have the right data to see the people who really need this really need this 
we have to stop uh, getting a hold of people's minds with social media, Facebook and other um, social media um, platforms should stop doing that and they, sh they should stop managing our perceptions. And then there's machine learning and AI, uh, which is uh, why you, the usage of big data, analysis of geo-spatio-temporal data, prediction of expansion based on historical data, monitoring sustainability of smart cities. And that's just about it. Thank you very much for watching.